Greetings YouTube, Buzzfinger here. In this video I'm going to show you how to access an optional secret boss known as the Hellworm. Stay tuned. Just before we get started today, there's two pieces of information you'll need to know before continuing any further. And that is, one, this particular enemy that we're going to be hunting down, the Hellworm, is only available once the Dracula Laboratory section of the game has been completed. So if you haven't done that, go and do that first. You can check out my video walkthrough in order to get help with that. And also, the other prerequisite is that the hunt, Get My Stuff Back, is also completed. And the reason for that is that once you complete this hunt, you'll collect an extra item known as the Dragon Scale, which is going to be required in order to pick this next quest up. So again, I have actually done a video walkthrough on how to complete that hunt. Check out the playlist for this series to find out more. Okay, so we're going to head into the Sorobi Step here from the port of Baffleheim because we need to go and find the quest giver first of all, the one that's going to actually tell us what it is that he wants us to do. And in order to do this, we're going to just make our way up to the northern section of this zone. So just check your speed mode on. And then make your way up to the topmost section, I believe it is. I'll just show you on the map. It's that area there with the three... Uh, gaps in the middle so I'm going to make my way there and see you in a moment once you're in this particular area then you can see those three structures that we saw a moment ago are actually windmills if I'll just get rid of the map there maybe you can see a little bit easier and what we're going to do is approach the one on the furthest right so that's this one here which is windmill number 10 and we're going to interact with that and this should spawn our quest giver nice to see you again Koopo Got us working on the mills this time. I've been working on windmill number 10, Koopo. Trouble is, I've pretty much finished my work, but the mill still won't start. Maybe there's something jamming one of the cogs. And then the worm philosopher comes in here. Who's been making all that noise? Koopo, Po? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. And what exactly are you doing up there in the first place, Koopo? I'm observing. A natural philosopher must always observe. I came here to observe a rare breed of worm called the Viral. The top of this windmill seemed the perfect spot for my observations. But I suppose I must have dozed off. Small wonder my work on the windmill met with so little success. You are more than dozing up there, Koopo. I'd say you were hibernating. And these people slew your Viral while you were sound asleep, Koopo. I saw the whole thing. So this is where we completed that Mark Hunt quest that I told you about at the start of this video. What's this? You killed the Vivo? Yes, we did indeed. How long I searched for it, only to fall asleep when it finally appeared. The years must be catching up with me. How could I let this happen? Maybe I'm getting too old for this. Just a moment. What's that you have there? Is that, could it be, a viral scale? And who better in all of Evil East to recognise it for the treasure it is than I? Please, I must have that dragon scale. So yes, he can have it if he wants it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. My life's work is complete. I shall treasure this for the rest of my days. I, I must give you something by way of thanks. Here. Here, take this. It is a key said to open the door to a chamber, holding a most terrible worm. And then we get the age-worn key. The legendary... Sorry, the legendary... The legendary? I'm pretty sure that should say the legend. But anyway, I'll read what it says. The legendary makes mention of the worm's ferocity, but not its whereabouts. I'm sure one who could find and slay a viral will have no difficulty finding and slaying this worm. Pray let it be glorious battle. Farewell. And he chortles off. And so we're done for the time being in the Sorobi step. We can actually go and take on the monster in question, the Hellworm, who is located in a secret room found within the Sochan Cave Palace. So you're going to want to port over to the Chichita Highlands because this is the path you're going to want to take to the Searching Cave Palace. Yes, you can teleport into the dungeon itself. 
but there's a puzzle we need to solve and we're going to mess up that puzzle if we try and enter from the top mainly because we have to go around uh, one of the areas in this cave in a clockwise direction and from the top that would uh, put us at the end of the puzzle rather than the start so just trust me on this you want to enter from this side It's probably still possible to complete the puzzle, by the way. I'm not saying it isn't if you enter from the teleport stone. But this is the way I know how to do it, so it's the way I'm going to be showing you. And we're just going to continue up north here. Generally sticking to the east. Although this bit doesn't matter, obviously. But as we start to make our way through the dungeon, we want to make sure we do end up on the right hand, or the eastern side of it. Dum de dum de dum. So just through here. And we're going to have to open some doors in a moment. But not just yet. We need to just head through an extra couple of areas to reach the right place. You might want to save here. Lest you mess up. But I'm going to risk not doing so. And here, we do want to stay to the east, for sure. So we've got all these exits, which you know about, I'm sure, from the previous times we visited this place, and the other times where we've done puzzles and whatnot. And on this occasion, we're going to head over this side, and through the, do the door on the furthest right, or the exit on the furthest right. Down here. Let's just take the map off for a sec so I can just see. Yeah, this is where we're going. Yeah, yeah, float off. Very important, of course. And here we're also going to be taking the furthest right exit to the north. So that's this one here. You see, it's this circular area in the area that we're now in where the puzzle is done. And if you approach from the north, rather than the south, you'll be taken into the circular area from the wrong side because the puzzle starts here on the east from this door. Let's just kill this guy. And so what we're going to want to do is, oh, to slow things down a bit, we're going to open this ancient door here, make our way through. And from here, we're going to want to open these doors in a very specific order. It's only the door of arrows that we want to touch. And we need to start from this area. So if you come from the north, you're going to end up opening those on the wrong side. This is the first door of arrows we need to open. And only open the door of arrows at this point, and in this particular order. Or you're not going to solve the puzzle. So head down to the south, where there's two doors of arrows. Arrows, even. And then we want to do this one. Here. And we're just going to go in a big clockwise circle around this area. Just speed up a little bit, but not too fast so we don't mess up. So we'll open this door of ours. And this one. And just keep going around. I hope I've done this right. I'm sure I have. This door of arrows next. I've seen arrows. I'm not sure why where that's come from. And this is going to take us back to the start here. This should be the final door at this point. I'm just going to slow things down. Take the map off as well. And then we hear a door open in the distance, so that's exactly obviously what we wanted to hear. And we can just come back into this room at this point. Now if we open up the map, you can see this greyed out area. That's the area we now have access to. So we're going to open the ancient door. Just proceed west here. Oh, grab the treasure. It's there. It's free. I'll take it. 
and west to the other side as well. And if we just keep going round, or keep going straight, I should say, west. More treasures, yes, please. 50 gil, whoa. It's the 14 million I had before wasn't enough, obviously. And then we have access to the ascetics door. This is the door that we've now been able to unlock by following that puzzle. Okay. And then we're just going to follow this secret passageway. All the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Given an iron treasure chest because I haven't been into this area before. Although I don't think there are any. And then we reach this door, the Hall of the Ascetic, which we open with the key, the age one key, that the quest giver just gave us a few moments ago in the Sarobi Step. And in this room here, this is the greyed out room, is where our boss fight is going to take place. So we're going to leave that for the next episode. Uh, I'm going to go back and save since we've done the puzzle now, and I recommend you might do the same, just at the blue save crystal. And come back soon and we'll... Uh, go through the tactics together on how to take down the Hellworm. What a nasty creature, so make sure you're ready for that. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.